everybody, it's me, Nina, and I wanted to show you our laundry room. I have worked today for hours cleaning and getting rid of stuff that we no longer needed. So what I did was, I don't know if you guys have ever heard of the term, the Swedish death clean. I believe it's called and I had my sister was telling me about this a while back and I had never heard of it and what you do instead of leaving a lot of stuff to be thrown away to be cleaned up by family and friends after your passing to go ahead and do it now so I've been thinking about that and I'm going to start applying that to my life. So today, I came out here and started early. And you might not be able to tell. But I took out, okay, that size of a trash can. Took out 10 bags stuffed full of those out of this room. Only one bag was uh, clothes. And these are all Steve's clothes. Our closets, you know, the closet in the bedroom is so small in this house. I'll have to show you that someday. It is so tiny that not even a quarter of his clothes by themselves would fit in there. He has a lot more than I do um, because he has a lot of t-shirts, stuff like that, you know. So anyways, uh, long story short, Steve built the shelves back here along the wall and the clothes are in front of us. Sorry if it's dark back here. But there are that shelf on the bottom, another shelf here, cleaning supplies and stuff, and then a shelf with also some miscellaneous on it. So I got all of that cleaned off. Steve ended up, one bag was of uh, clothes that he didn't wear. And this is our washer and dryer. And then on this side is our small freezer, and that's what I use to fold the clothes on. Um, she painted in here when we moved in. So that's been, what, four years ago. And he also put down the flooring. And you can see little Ziva over there in the bed. <laughs> She's such a good dog. Uh, sorry if you hear anything, that's the dryer going. But anyway, Steve put the flooring down, painted, and he built these little shelves up here. Okay, this used to be a back porch a long time ago. And you can tell that used to be the window, and that's in the bathroom. And um, I don't know who closed that in. Uh, it was done before Dad and Mom bought this house. And they bought the house in 1984. So Steve put those shelves up for me and over top of the washer and dryer so I could put my, you know, supplies up there. And our son had built that um, bench that you can, it's got a hole in it where you can, you know, actually pick it up and carry it. But it's good for putting, you know, your shoes and stuff on. And then dad had just put that up there um, and that's really, really handy to put, you know, coats and stuff on. That's the door to outside. And then mom just left this here. And we keep a lot of our canned food in there. And trash bags. Stuff like that. And then, um, of course, we have the, the dog's bed there. And I actually painted these pictures. That is my grandmother, dad's mom. Um, she always wore her hair in long braids and they were always tied together. I'm not an artist, don't judge me. <laughs> um, so anyway, those are the windows that were put in, which are nice, it gives a lot of really nice natural light in here. And then Steve bought me that Dyson because our old vacuum cleaner, since we only have the area rugs and stuff, we don't have any carpet. It was so heavy for me to lift and carry. And so they had these at Sam's on sale. And boy, that thing is nice. So he just got that hung up there for me. Um, plugged, plugged in. It's 
it's a cordless one. And then anyway, years ago, dad put that strip up there so that mom could hang her, um, all of her mops and all that stuff. So that has been really, really handy. Another thing that Steve did since we've been here is he put this step in for me because you used to be able, you used to just step down and it was so, such a high step for me when I had my um, heart surgery that he built that and that really, really helps. So anyway, I just wanted to show you guys because I'm extremely proud of myself that yeah, it's it still probably looks junky to a lot of people, but I worked and worked in this room to get it to look as good as it does. Um, like I said, all those bags of trash and Siva, did you get dad his old shoe? He uses those to go out and feed the chickens and stuff. That's Ucky. <laughs> She's so silly. I found that little ball. I uh, think it was my granddaughter's. But anyway, Ziva's been enjoying it and playing with it. Haven't you, sweetie? Yeah. Ziva, want to say hi? Say hi, everybody. Yeah. Come on, let's go up here. So anyway, this used to be, of course, the entrance to the outside of the house. And they're actually, let me, hold on a minute. There's actually a door in the garage. It's an outside door with the glass and everything. But when we moved in, I had Steve take that down because it was always open and it just was in the way. And I, when he built me this wall, I didn't want that to be covered. I wanted people to be able to see that. So we took that door down. So what I was going to finish telling you guys is that since I've been learning about that Swedish, you know, death clean, I am trying to go through stuff and get rid of it so that I can help other people out and I can get my stuff cleaned up. You know, I'm tired of keeping stuff if I'm not going to use it. I just, I'm decluttering my life and I'm telling you, it is really starting to feel really good to get everything in order. But some of this stuff here, I uh, am giving to my cousin's daughter. She just had another baby. She's got three little girls. They just bought a home. And she was looking for stuff to, to put in her house. And I had bought a lot of this at Hobby Lobby and garage sales and stuff. So I got her a, a stack of things here. That was actually hers. It was from her dog and I'm giving it back to her. But anyway, um, I'm giving her a stack of things to take to her new home. I'm going to see if she needs that um, toaster oven. We never use it. You know, just cluttering up the house. So, yep, that is what I am working on. So, I've got, um, I've got a lot yet to do. I want to clean out this and just go through some of this stuff. And if we haven't used it or don't need it, or it's just junking up the house, I'm gonna also either give it away. Um, I just started thinking when my sister was telling me about that, where you you know clean your home, and it's not just cleaning; it's it's uh, getting rid of extra baggage, you know, as they say. I'm gonna sit here and put the camera on little Miss uh, Ziva. While I finish talking, but and I can feel that air conditioner feels so good. But um, there's her pee pad. She kept going to that spot over there, so we decided just to go ahead and lay her pee pads there until she's older. And you can tell she's peed on them a couple times. But when she gets older and understands to go into the laundry room, that's where we'll keep them at, and that's where Willow always went. But, oh, you're going to move on, Mom, huh? So people can't see ya. But anyway, as I was saying, get rid of uh, all the baggage. You guys, I don't know, but I think since I had had my heart attack, I hadn't taken pride in stuff like I used to. I used to love to clean and just have everything in place and 
um, I hadn't been doing that. Uh, I don't know. I just, I don't know if I was afraid of that I wouldn't be here long. I don't know what it was. Maybe it was depression, um, you know. But now I have, I just have a better attitude, um, trying to get things in order. I think little Ziva has given me extra energy because she's a busy little puppy. And she gives us so much joy. Yeah, this floor all needs sanded. It's, it's old, it's, you know, the house has been here since 48. But um, it needs all sanded and, and restained and uh, varnished. And I would love to have it polyurethane real nice and be shiny. But um, I just wanted to say that in case you're looking at the floor. Yeah, I know it needs, it needs a lot done, but it takes money. But I just wanted to say she does give us joy. Oh, and the only time she barks is when she wants my attention. And then you can tell she's over here wanting mom. Honey, yes, her wants her mama to play. <laughs> Let me get off of here and play with my puppy dog.